before that, we have something that we need to do. Something starts tomorrow. Something uh, very important in the gamer world, uh, kind of important to me, but it is BlizzCon and the, <laughs> the Overwatch World Cup. So I watched all the group stages when they happened. It's been a while since they happened, so my mind might not be as sharp of what happened there as, you know, as I, I remember. But I, I do have a lot of it still in my brain of what happened. I actually watched when they're re-airing it the uh, the Canada U.S. game from the from the Los Angeles group stage, and it was uh, it was a it was a great little match, even though it was three one. Like it was just a uh, it was bad. It was a slaughter. <laughs> uh, you know, I I think XQC is a wonderful player. I mean, sure four is on the Gladiators, and I'm a Gladiators fan. So it's, you know, I, I do want to root for them, but I mean, not versus USA. We got to go USA, 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 USA. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we have our bracket. It's up in the top corner. I'm not going to switch over to the, uh, the scene where we're going to look at it yet. I just want to kind of explain um, who, where teams came from and things like that. So, you know, right, we have UK versus US, Australia versus South Korea, China versus Finland, Canada versus France. And there's kind of some backstory to kind of give on these. And, you know, South Korea has been dominant the last two years. They've been uh, the primary, they've won both years and they've just kind of slaughtered most of the teams. Last year, USA gave them a good fight. Um, it ended up being a 4-2 victory for uh, for South Korea, if you count it that way. They had one tie game on Hanamura. That shouldn't have been a tie game. Um, I, I really think that the tank line for the U.S. kind of screwed up on Hanamura. They screwed up on Eichenwald, too, but uh, Hanamura was a big one. It's the one where you see all the highlights for Flower, where he was just popping off on attack from the top of the wall. And just going crazy. Um, that was mainly the tanks' fault. They weren't doing their job there. But um, but yeah. So going through this um, in the South Korea stage, South Korea and Finland made it up. South Korea 5-0, Finland 4-1. The one loss Finland had was to South Korea. And it was actually a barn burner of a match. Went to five. Went down to overtime in the fifth game on the third part of the map and just it, it was an insane match it was an insane match so that shows you how closely finland plays to south korea or played to south korea grand south korea has made a couple changes in their roster to kind of change around to the current meta but uh i i think finland actually is pretty darn good i mean they have a lot of overwatch league players they've definitely stepped up and that's what that's one of the things to realize too is a lot of the teams that made it to world cup this year and a lot of the dominant teams this year have a mainly overwatch league rosters if not all overwatch league rosters the amount of gap between the east south korea and the west has just completely almost evaporated the players are just they played a whole season of Overwatch League. They've played at the highest level. They've grown. They've become better players. And now you're seeing a lot of teams challenge that South Korea, you know, prospect. That being said, a lot of the Overwatch League teams have gone and picked up a bunch of more South Koreans, including, uh, including the Gladiators. But, you know. Anyways, the group stage in the United States, this was one of the tougher group stages in my opinion. And um, I didn't think Brazil was going to be that good, um, but Norway was pretty good. Brazil was pretty good. And then Austria and Switzerland, I mean, Switzerland kind of got a bum deal. They were the worst team in this set, but I think if they were put in maybe like the, uh, the France qualifier, they might have been able to beat out Great Britain. You know, they might have been able to beat Great Britain. They probably could have beaten Germany, Italy, Netherlands, and Poland. That's the way I feel about Switzerland. The smallest of the uh, the worst of the team. Shug, thank you for the raid of the Party of Five, man. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. 
How'd your stream go? Good? I know, I was watching it. Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, I mean, I think probably the lowest team in the in the United States group stage was Switzerland. I think if they would have been in the France group stage, they would have had a possibility of actually making a spot. And we'll get to that later. Uh, and one of the teams that did make a spot, I don't think really deserved to get a spot. But uh, USA and Canada duked it out, and they were the two moving on from the United States group stage. Then we got uh, the Thailand group stage. This was another interesting one because Australia, Denmark, and Sweden were all 3-2 on their matches. So it was just an eke out of the actual games, the actual maps that they won. So Australia beating out Denmark and Sweden, who I also think are teams that if you would have put them in the France qualifier, in the France group, they would have come out. They would have come out and actually gotten the spot. So uh, any of those three teams, the Australia did surprise me. So the France group qualifier. Here's the one I have the problem with. Poland's horrible. Italy's horrible. Germany's horrible. Netherlands is horrible. The United Kingdom, while not being a great team, they got swept by Finland last year at BlizzCon in the first round. Um, they have a worse team this year than they did last year from everything I can tell. I think even, you know... the the coaching staff and everything over there said yeah we're not as good as last year and last year they got swept even though they made it out first in their group stage they got swept last year when it came to blizzcon so france did have a pretty easy time and that's going to kind of come into play here when i talk about stuff once we get into talking about the bracket so france made out number one in the france stage and then uk came out number two uk had a 15 and 5 uh uh map map set there they were four and one they lost to france that's the way so yeah guys that is where all the teams came from so at this point i think it's time to uh jump on over we're gonna start talking about this bracket okay so i these are pretty much my predictions i need to move the camera oh there we go let me, let me reset my uh my stuff here guys shug was over on uh Tuesday night hanging out, so I had the camera all in a different position and everything. So, there we go. So, yeah, let's talk about this top eight bracket. So, obviously, like I said earlier, we have UK in USA matching up in the first match tomorrow. I believe it's at 2.15 p.m. Pacific time. That's going to be uh, 4.15 Central. And then we have Australia and South Korea. Like I said, Australia, one of the lower teams. It's very possible that... Uh, Denmark or Sweden could have actually made it out of that that group stage and going back to that group stage that uh, that Thailand group stage Thailand actually did really freaking good versus China and China is one of the kind of the bigger dogs here that you that everybody's been talking about so Australia did eke it out did make it in sadly they get the uh, the number one seed in South Korea basically uh, first round so and then you got China versus Finland. Now this one, you know, everybody's been hype on China. I don't think it's going to be as close as people think it's going to be. Um, mainly because, like, those games of Sweden and Denmark and Australia, those teams really kind of wore each other out. And what I saw with China versus Thailand was very worrisome. So, I mean, Thailand ended up finishing uh, fifth in that one, in that stage. Yeah, fifth. And Thailand gave them a run for their money, like a real run for their money. It was, I was I was pulling for Thailand. I wanted Thailand to beat China. I want to see them get the win. But uh, but yeah, China China versus Finland. That's that's gonna be uh, not as close as people think it's gonna be. And then we're gonna go down to the last one here. So Canada versus France. Canada versus France. So everybody like ESPN, Dot Esports, everybody is all hyped about France because you know rogue, 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 rogue from the past. A lot of these players, you know, yeah, they've played together before, but like I said, that group stage, that France group stage, was probably by far the weakest group stage out of all four group stages, and that's where United Kingdom came from. They're not, they're nowhere near where they were last year in their competitiveness and they came out with a 4-1 with a 15 and 5 map differential that's insane to think that they did that when they think when they're saying oh we're not we're not nearly as good as last year okay okay that 
That tells me all I need to know about that bracket. So France went 19 and two in their uh, their differential on that with the 5-0. I don't think France really got tested at all, and that's going to come into play later. So. Yeah, we're going to talk here about United Kingdom versus the USA. I think it's a pretty cut and dry. We know it's going to be a 3-0. They got swept by Finland last year. Finland is not near. Last year was not nearly as good as they are this year. And I think USA is better than Finland is this year. So if you, UK being weaker this year got swept by a lesser team than they're playing now. Or got swept by a team that's better now, but is still worse than USA this year. I'm going to go with the 3-0. There is no reason that UK should win this game besides USA literally just jumping off the map continually. <laughs> so USA has got to go on in my mind. I don't know what you guys think. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, you might disagree. I don't know that many people would disagree on this one. Either. So moving on to Australia versus South Korea. And I think this is another one of those ones that, you know, Australia, this, that was their championship. They got into the top eight. They won, they got second place in a stage qualifier. But versus South Korea, who's been dominant this entire time, this entirety of Overwatch World Cup. Yeah, there, there's no way they're beating them. I'm going to go with a 3-0 on that match as well. So South Korea over Australia 3-0. I don't think there's much more to talk about there. So I'm just going to move on to China and Finland. So like I was saying before, China got a lot of hype. Um, I do think it was probably the second weakest group stage. Um, I mean, you're talking about Australia being in there, Denmark, Sweden. It's still a, a lot better of a group stage than France, but uh, I do believe that, you know, they got a little bit tested, but the Thailand thing, this is what I'm going to come back to with China, the Thailand thing. Thailand almost beat them, and China's supposed to be a world-class top three team. Top three, top four team. That made me doubt them extremely. It really did make me doubt them. And then you talk about Finland versus South Korea, taking it to literally the very last moment of that match. You know, it's it's, it's game five, it's one to one, and it's in overtime 99 to 99 with South Korea. One minor little thing changes, Finland beat South Korea, and they are basically the number one seed moving forward. So I really believe that Finland here would move on. So that's pretty much what I went with. So a 3-1 victory. I do think China's going to win a map there. But I do think Finland is one of the top three teams here in this bracket. Probably top three teams in the world when it comes to the World Cup. So I'm going to choose Finland to move on there over China 3-1 and one more thing to note about that Finland South Korea game, there was a there was like a reset, and they had to play some stuff over. And Finland had a great run before they had to reset the game, and then South Korea I believe ended up winning that map. So it could have easily I believe been a three-one for Finland over South Korea. I'd have to go back and look. Don't quote me on that, but uh, pretty sure Finland could have had a, a nice solid victory over South Korea. If that didn't happen, I believe that was kind of the uh, the controversy at the time. So yeah, so Finland over over China, three one. So the last match here in the top eight in the quarterfinals is going to be Canada versus France. So I was talking about it earlier. Everybody talking up France, Rogue. You know they were one of the best teams in Overwatch before. I have to say they might have been one of the best teams in Overwatch before. But, um, yeah, I, they got Soon, AKM, Poco, and Unko. I mean, Ben Best is good, but I don't know really about their tank line. Their tank line, to me, seemed really weak when I watched it. Granted, it didn't seem weak versus the teams they were playing, because, like I said before, that that France group stage was by far the weakest group stage. So, I mean, I don't think the France team is as good as they used to be. Whereas I think Canada actually has kind of an advantage here. I mean, they did kind of get 
handed their butts by USA in the USA group stage. But everybody else, I mean, they, they handled handily, Canada did. I mean, the, the, the only three maps that Canada lost were to USA, which I think is one of the top two teams in this bracket. So I know this might be a little bit controversial. I'm going to say it's going to be extremely close between Canada and France, but I'm going to have to give the advantage to Canada 3-2. Like I said, it's going to be very close. I don't know if it will be as close as South Korea versus Finland, but it's going to be it's, it's going to come down to pretty close, guys. So I'm actually going to put Canada over France. I know that's probably an unpopular decision with uh, a lot of, you know, sports casters or analysts or something like that. But I do think that Canada, I mean, Canada made finals last year versus South Korea. I mean, they beat Finland's team last year. Grant Finland's team is much, much better this year. Uh, but they did beat Finland last year. They went to the finals. So I do kind of have to give it to Canada. Grant France last year played South Korea. So before I get... So 3-2, 3-2, 3-2 Canada over France. Very close game, but Canada will move on to face Finland. And that's your top four. So you got USA versus South Korea, and then Finland versus Canada for your top four. Those are my predictions for your top four. And I'm not going to go top to bottom on this because I know that that USA versus South Korea game is the one everybody's going to be wanting to watch. And it's the one that everybody wants to know. So I'm going to hit the Finland versus Canada first, guys. So we already talked about Finland. We already talked about Canada. And Finland, a lot stronger, pretty much, you know, we're talking about these are Overwatch League players now. When you look at all the teams in the top four, it, I might have an Overwatch League bias. I'm sorry. But those players grew as players, became much better here in the... Uh, it, over the course of the Overwatch inaugural season, Overwatch League inaugural season. So that's why these teams are where they are in this World Cup because they are they just play at a higher, different level. And, you know, I had a thing where I was, you know, before World Cup was getting, the teams were getting selected and stuff, I was like, uh, I don't know that World Cup should have Overwatch League players. I think it should be another place to pull people from, to give people an opportunity to show what they're worth. But they, they went with, you know, letting the pro players play. So this is what happens. You have USA. That is all but one of the players that are traveling are Overwatch League players. South Korea, every damn one of them is an Overwatch League player. You're looking at Finland. Hang on. Uh, let me see what their roster is right here. For uh, for this Finland, Fraggy, Bigu, Shaz, Zappas, Taimu, Linkser, Davin. Davin's the only one that isn't an Overwatch League player. I believe he's contenders. I forget what team he plays for, but he's contenders. So, six of your seven players that you're sending, Overwatch League players. Oh, same thing with USA, and then Canada. I mean, look, you got Note, you got Bonnie, you got. Agility, Sure4, XQC. Five of your seven players are Overwatch League players. And I'd say Mangachu is... He's on hes on the level where he could be playing in Overwatch League. He just didn't get picked up for Season 1. So that would technically be a seven, you know. So yeah. All of these teams are Overwatch League teams, basically. So Finland and Canada. Canada has worked their butts off. They're claiming they're better than they were. The only people that took sets off of them were the United States. Sorry, my children's school is calling me. Uh, Canada is a good team. They are a very good team. Question is, are they as good as USA, South Korea, or even Finland? My answer would be no. I don't believe they are on that level. XQC is great. Sure4 is great. The The entire team is great. I love Mangachu because Mangachu is so flexible in what he can play. Note's awesome. Bonnie's awesome on the support. You know, Agilities, I think he carried, I, I think, you know, he carried soon. Like, everybody hyped on soon. Nobody talked about Agilities. Agilities was just mad in the Overwatch League. Sadly, though, I do don't think that they are able to beat Finland. I mean, 
<laughs> Let's be honest, man. Finland put up an amazing game versus South Korea in the stage. I mean, yeah, their 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 tanks are Fraggy and Zappis, but Fraggy and Zappis played together as a tank line. You know, oh sorry, no, they didn't. Fraggy was on. Uh, Fraggy was in the finals as uh, with the um, Philadelphia Fusion, and then Zappis was kind of stuck over there on uh, Florida. One of the lesser teams, and then I mean, you have you have Linkser and Timon. I mean, two great DPS Western DPSs, and then you have the Gladiator support line of Big Goose and Shaz. Probably the best combo, the best teamwork group in the league of uh, of support duo. So I really do think that uh, Canada is going to lose this one. Finland's going to win. It is going to be close, guys. 3-2. 3-2 is going to be my score on that. So Canada going to win the first one by against France in a 3-2 and then lose the second one versus Finland in a 3-2. That's basically where I'm going with that. So Finland over China, 3-1, and then over Canada, 3-2. So now the elephant in the room. USA versus South Korea. This is something that a lot of people would just immediately, South Korea. Just snap, boom, South Korea done. I think it's closer than that. And there's a lot of things, you know, going on here in this match. And for the since the bracket has come out, I've been talking about the fact that this is the hardest match to pick. I don't know who I would really pick in this match. That's why I kept saying... But what I did say was, whoever wins this is winning the championship match. Whoever loses this is winning the third place match. Because I believe both of these teams are your one and two. They're better than Finland. They're better than Canada. They're better than France. They're better than China. They're better than Australia. They're better than UK. They are the top two teams in the bracket. Sadly, they play in the semifinal. Just like last year, they played in the quarterfinal. And then USA was done with that 4-2 victory from South Korea. The best game in all of last year's Overwatch uh, World Cup. Stages, group stages or bracket. That That is, yeah, that's my opinion, but it's, it's held by a lot of people. So, South Korea and USA. Here's a couple of things to note about each. South Korea, this is probably their worst team they've fielded, in my opinion. Not skill-wise, the players extremely skillful. In fact, like I was saying about Overwatch League, they're probably more skillful than they were before. However, the the teamwork, the cohesion of this team is not as good as previous South Korea teams. I mean, before you were looking at Lunatic High, right? They, they were playing, they were basically the South Korean team. They had cohesion. They have they played together for so long, done so much together. You know, the core group of players knew each other, knew how each other played. And that is probably the thing that might hurt them and has hurt them this season or this uh, this World Cup in the group stage. They played really close to Finland. They almost lost to Finland. They could have been 3 one by Finland. I mean, that's that's something you have to think about. Additionally, from what I saw from the Overwatch League, South Korean players, their their increase in skill was a lot slower than the Western players. Just because they had less to learn from. They had less kind of competition and people pushing them. Whereas with three all South Korean teams in the league, the Westerners had huge gaps to fill, a lot to learn, a lot of just push to get better. So... That's just kind of a simple thing of numbers there. They, they got better a lot quicker, the, the, the Western players did. So, oh, as I hit my keyboard on accident. Um, so, yeah, the South Korea. I think they're actually, this is probably the worst team that they fielded, not by skill, but just by general cohesion of the team and teamwork together. And then there's USA. So, USA has basically all but one player that is Overwatch League. Uh, that one player that is not Zachary, he actually won contenders with his team. Um, probably carried them a little bit. Probably carried them a little bit. Um, but yeah, he 
it's a, it's an amazing roster. I wouldn't say that talent wise they're better than South Korea. I would not say that. They're I I think South Korea has probably the most talented players still in Overwatch. It's true. Um, one thing to note about USA though is that in their group stage they went 18 and two in their their maps their map differential. Granted. They were playing weird things. Like, they were playing Bastion on Hanamura B. Bastion Symmetra on Hanamura B. You know, weird stuff like that. Like, even against Canada, they weren't really playing what was considered meta comps. So, I don't think... I think in one of the harder group stages, the United States group stage with Canada, USA, Norway, Brazil... I think that uh, USA did not even show us their full potential there, though. That is, that's an interesting thing. So looking at that, let's talk about last year. USA's team this year, leagues above last year's team. I know everybody loves Cool Matt and everybody loves Fact Fiction, but my God, did they mess up so many times last year. In, uh, in the top eight when they were playing South Korea. That very, very close game versus South Korea that was 1-1, 1-1-1, 2-1, 3-1. -1. It was a very close game. And a lot of that loss falls on Fact Fiction and Cool Man. Especially like Hanamura, the game that tied. That could have put them up, I believe, 2-0 or something like that it, and they just let flower sit on the wall just let him sit on the wall and take pot shots the entire time that's where all flowers highlights from over from the overwatch world cup came from last year was just pretty much hanamura on attack when fact fiction and cool matt would not hit it this year though this year they have muma in space muma is in my opinion, the best Western tank. I know people think XQC is. To me, Muma is more reserved. He's more game sense. XQC is the better skilled player, but in Overwatch, game sense matters so much. So much. So yeah, I, I think their tank line is vastly improved. Um, they don't have Jake this year. They have Hydration, who I think is an upgrade overall in that uh that projectile dps slot so ladies and gentlemen what is my pick for usa versus south korea judging by the fact that usa played really close and is a lot better team this year south korea is probably the worst team that they've put forward this year the fact that usa's tank line is so improved the fact that South Korea almost lost to Finland, who I believe is beneath both of these teams, and possibly could have gotten three one if it wasn't for the reset the reset game. It's probably an un an unpopular opinion, and a ton of people are going to disagree with me on this. But I gotta go. USA, 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 three to two. Once again, very tight. I think USA will pull it out this year. And it'll it'll be a sight to behold. This is the match that everybody's looking for. Everybody wants to watch. This is the match that I am going to be watching. Even if I miss I have a funeral to go to on Saturday. But if I miss this match, I am not going to pay attention to my phone. I am going to want to watch this in its entirety once I get home. It is going to be the best match once again. I think this match will trump the South Korean Finland match from group stage. So that is your championship and third place match. We have USA versus Finland and South Korea versus Canada. So I've already mentioned that, you know, I've always said since this bracket was released that whoever won between USA and South Korea was going to be the winners of the following game. It was going to be the champion. Whoever lost was going to be third place. It, I still stand by that. 
completely 100%. So in South Korea versus Canada, I believe 3-0. South Korea is going to get over Canada. They're going to take that bronze medal. And then 3-1, I do think Finland can take a game off of, a map off of USA. But overall, I think USA, this might be their year to actually come out. People thought that last year, if they could pull an upset in quarterfinals versus South Korea, they couldn't do it. Sadly, they came a little short. I blamed it on the tank line, and they have solved that. They've even upgraded at DPS, and I really think that uh, I think that this might be their year. I know that uh, that South Korea US game is probably you know one of those ones that most people are going to disagree with me on. And regardless, it's a hard game for me because I think they match up so darn well that easily, you know. You can swap first and third heal, essentially. In my mind, you could swap first and third. I wouldn't have a problem with it. But my prediction is going to sit at USA. I got to go with the home team. I got to go with the team I think has improved more, is a better cohesive team, and the team that has more options and hasn't showed us their full gambit yet. So that is basically it, guys, for my predictions on the Overwatch World Cup. I think USA going to drop UK, South Korea, and Finland to win it. Uh, and then South Korea is going to drop Canada in the third place game to take that bronze. So, yeah, guys. What what do you think? What do you think? Jump on uh, back over to 